So watch, when, when you woke when you woke up this morning, did you have yeah, any idea you're going to be lifting the world's largest metal frog? No, 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 I had no idea. You yeah. know, but I'm here doing it right now. <laughs> what do you think about it, watch? I, I, I feel so good. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> this, not, this not this time. architect extraordinaire Steve well Steve what do you think of the world's largest frog on site here at the museum that's interesting it's interesting yeah I like it. We got it, it is certainly a frog is not it, a, not a toad is it in a good spot yeah it looks good for now okay excellent thank you hi I'm Ken Kaplan on site here at the New England Motorcycle Museum uh, with Joe Marandino Joe how are you today good, how you doing, Joe? thank you for bringing another one of your world-class uh, creations here I'm um, also here with my friend Watch from Ghana. Um, Ghana's here as a resident frog expert from Ghana. And he <laughs> yep. says this is the largest frog in Ghana. Is that correct, Watch? Uh, I haven't seen uh, any frog as, as big as this before. You might have seen the Iron Eagle that Joe bought in the other day. Uh, the Iron Eagle, as, as impressive as that one is, I got to give you the specs on this frog right here. This frog took 180 hours for Joe to build. And um, it has a 50 foot, a four foot wide sheet. 50 foot long of the uh, 14, 14 gauge. gauge metal that it's made out of. That's a, that's a sheet, four feet wide, 50 feet long, and there's 800 feet of the half inch rod inside here. And if you come up close with a camera and look in, you can see the, the half inch rod that it's all reinforced with. And there's 140 pounds of welding, what's it called, welding? Welding rod. Welding rod. So those are the stats on, on, on what it's made out of. And it's 11 feet long and 10 feet wide. And it, it is it is pretty awesome. Uh, Joe, Joe, what else can you tell us about, about the frog? Like the, you were telling me about how the fingers and feet took, look at the, the detail of the feet. It's really impressive. Um, I built this one uh, from the eyeballs back and I made this one so we came apart in uh, six pieces. Awesome. And uh, this is all done with an arc welder, a set of oxycetylene torches and a two pound ball peen hammer and that was it. And uh, it was quite the undertaking. It was the hardest one I've done yet. You were telling me that, that, that you almost gave up when you were doing these fingers here. They're so intricate the way they're made and, and uh, he had basic handfuls that he made it with and it just, uh, he, ha he showed me the picture of the frog that he did this off of and it looks exactly like it and to take that picture from uh, a real three dimensional animal and craft it out of just raw stock with basic tools is nothing short of amazing and a friend of mine who in the business who's also an artist told me he, he thinks you're, uh, Joe's a, uh, he calls him a, a, a genius, a borderline genius, metal genius. So, uh, yeah, it's a really amazing creation. Uh, certainly a nice uh, compliment to the 20-foot uh, iron, iron eagle that, that Joe donated to the, the museum. So, one of the other unique statistics of the frog is that it weighs a thousand pounds, and it came in sections uh, that we carried in. Uh, I believe there are the four legs, the body, and the and the back part of the body. So it was six sections. Yes. And each each section weighs uh, over 150 pounds. So uh, this thing will last forever, long after we're gone. This uh, iron frog will uh, be gracing with its presence. Uh, and this will be in, featured in the book From Loom to Vroom, the book that's being written about our project right now, 100 year history of Rockville starting in uh, 18, six, uh, excuse me, 1916 up to uh, the year 2016. Thank you very much, Joe. I re really appreciate you bringing the frog down. Thank it you really good. is awesome and an asset for the community Thank you. Thank you. and a gift to the state and the town. Thank you.